reportedly told lawyers he wanted to prosecute Comey and Hillary Clinton. CBC News U.S. President Donald Trump told his counsel's office last spring that he wanted to prosecute political adversaries Hillary Clinton and former FBI Director James Comey, an idea that prompted White House lawyers to prepare a memo warning of consequences Rangan. We need your help. St. Michael's principal tells alumni at emergency meeting, CBC News. The principal of St. Michael's College School appealed for assistance Tuesday evening, as alumni from the all-boys Catholic school held an emergency meeting about allegations of assault and sexual assault involving students. Bitcoin bust and tech stock decline may be blips or symptoms of wider slump. Don Pities, CBC News, cryptocurrencies have fallen sharply. So have tech stocks and oil. Is it coincidence or a re-emergence of the so-called death cross? Why rising NDP tides lift conservative votes in federal elections, CBC News. As the next federal election approaches, Andrew Scheer's conservatives might be asking themselves whether they can win without a strong NDP. BC College of Physicians wants Dr. Lip Job sent to jail, CBC News. The College of Physicians and Surgeons of BC wants a woman known as Dr. Lip Job sent to prison for allegedly continuing to give Botox treatments and other injections, in violation of a court order and despite not being properly licensed. Harmless viral Facebook post is another reminder how easy it is to make online fakes. CBC News. Social media platforms continue to help amplify false posts and misinformation, and the onus has largely shifted, unfairly or not, onto users to sort out what's real and what's not. Loblaws cranks up self-checkout with app that scans items while you shop. CBC News. On Thursday, Loblaws will launch Shop and Scan, a pilot project that allows customers to scan their items with a phone app while shopping, saving them time at checkout. What Trump surrendered by giving Saudi Crown Prince a pass in Khashoggi's killing, CBC News. He promised to be the law and order president. He pitched himself as the ultimate deal maker. Yet in a single White House statement on Tuesday, Donald Trump proved to his critics he lives up to neither reputation. Canadians giving up necessities, going into debt to pay for prescriptions, study fines, CBC News. Hundreds of thousands of Canadians are going into debt across the country to pay for prescription medication, according to a study from the University of British Columbia. Avoid eating romaine lettuce in Ontario and Quebec, health officials warn, CBC News. Canadian and U.S. officials say they are working to determine the source of an outbreak of E. coli infections.